Hi, my name is Judy. Hi, my name is Elisa, and you're tuning in to On, On the, the Regular. regular. Bam, 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 bam. How we doing, folks? Welcome back to On the Regular. Back at it again. You know how it is. I'm your host, Ray. Here with my right hand man, Ken Leon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back at it again with another episode. Tis a motherfucking season. You already know people over here wearing their Christmassy shit. You already know what's going on. You already know what time of the year it is. It's the most wonderful time of the year, baby. Yeah, we're about to have the, <laughs> the most wonderful and episode. You already know it's a jolly ass episode. Let's get this shit popping and rocking, baby. Exactly. So we got some guests coming back at it again. We got Judy in the building. What's up? We got Ulysses in the building. Hey. <laughs> Y'all looking right. a lot of festive over there, you feel me? Exactly, so we got a little spin-off going right now We're going to do a little part two to the questionnaire that we did a little earlier in the month And we're going to go ahead and give it to the ladies right now Alright, so since me and my homegirl, Yuli, are taking over We're over here ready as hell to, you know, put you guys on the other side of the table And see what's going on in your brains, alright? Go ahead, shoot So just straight into it my first question is, why do some men feel like their masculinity, masculinity is being tested or tried when toys are suggested to be added during sex? Personally, <laughs> I mean, it just all depends on the man that you're dealing with. So, mm-hmm. But I'm talking about you. You're right talking now. about me? Personally, all, right, look, these are, all these questions look, are to you guys. If you know me, you're going to get a little shout out with the shit. <laughs> I like all that freaky, all that extra shit. So you want to do that? Baby, what's up? Let's go. Vibrator in public was good. Let, let's run that. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm with the shits. What's up? That shit is it, fun. You know, a lot of niggas be with the basic shit. That shit be boring at times. But, hey, let's let, let, let's see how we going to spice it up a little bit. You feel me? I don't know. At least that's how I feel. Sometimes you, you got to try that out. Raven? Um, <laughs> all I got to say to that is I feel like toys are more of your teammate than I get enemy. So, you exactly. know, might as well go ahead and, and play that into the bedroom. You feel me? Spice yeah. some things up. You and know you know what? what and you know what they say? Teamwork. Make, Make the dream, the dream work, baby. <laughs> Just like Come on that. Now. You already They're know. They're going to start quoting you on that shit. For exactly. sure. All right. So for the second question, um, I'm going to go straight into it. I heard you guys smell your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Who's you guys? Many men smell their balls. Shit. Is that true? Y'all oh, be smelling how, how smelly that shit stinks? First of all. Y'all be like, uh. But like quick, like little quickies at the fucking club first or some of all, shit for sure. If your nigga don't shower before he go out. He dirty. If he don't shower after the gym, the he dirty. That wasn't the question. If he don't shower no. in the morning and he about to go get breakfast, that nigga is dirty. But if he need to smell his dick and balls out in public, that nigga is dirty. I'm going to hey, say it again. Hey, but you never know. You're at the club. The, you know, question. the question is, do um, y'all just, you know, real quick. No, but sorry to cut you off here. I know a few niggas that throw powder on their balls. I mean... I don't know. I've heard about that. I've yeah, seen niggas heard? do it. I don't think that's I something you just you sit do down. It. I think you do it. Because I, I don't think you sit down and I be don't. like, yo, you I know, don't. I put powder on my balls. I don't I think don't. that's not conversation. I, I actually know a few niggas that do that. I ain't going to put them out there, but I do know a few niggas that do that. Well, so, that's a little wild, but I don't do that type of shit. I don't know. Um, To answer the question, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you smelled um, your balls. So you no, 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 definitely. You know, I've definitely, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, not, not, not on a consistent basis. Not like a, like a, you when know, you frequent need, you thing. To. You know, you just kind of just your nut butter. So when would you like, say, damn, nigga, like when would you say was the no, last I, I time? Definitely, definitely after like playing ball and shit like that, or like all after right, the right. gym, you'd be like, damn, nigga, like I, I'm a little. I'm but a little check right now. I'm a so little you deck. check. No, I, I I definitely check. I definitely check. <laughs> but but you smell like you know this shit not gonna smell good. Like why you? Now nah, you're right. You're right. 100. percent But the right. que- the, what the question Same. was, niggas definitely. If a nigga says he doesn't, he does. 100. Hmm. So but if you like, but, but if you if you constantly smelling your balls, you're a dirty nigga because you know. You know, <laughs> but like I said, it's not a consistent thing. It's more kind of just like a ooh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like you feel me? Not yeah, all yeah. the time. Every yeah, now and then. Yeah, yeah. Every now and then. Type, you know what that shit smell like though? Mm-hmm. Nah, type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. He right, but eh? it's a yes. It's a yes. Right. right. I'll say like a majority, not all of them, but definitely like a nine times out of ten. All right. I feel like if, if <laughs> you be you be picking your boogers and putting them in your mouth, ain't you? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, that's a whole different. That's a whole. Nah, but I feel story. like as a as a man, you'd be lying if you've never done it for sure. I'm not. You know, no, yeah, I wouldn't but, know, but but not consistently though. Like mm. that was a question. Whatever. If you want to stick to you know the nasty shit, let's stick on that. No bullshit. You can't be lying to me. Like right. no crossing your fingers, nothing. All right. On mamas. On mamas. Mamas. No bullshit. Have you ever had your ass ate? No. <laughs> <laughs> You no. look kind of sus right now. No, I, I, yo, why are you sweating? 
And to add to the question, would you ever let a woman peg you? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna answer the question. So for the first part of the question, yes. Oh. For the second part of the question, fuck no. Like that. Even we, if that's yeah. like your wife. No. No. Like, no. 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 No, 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 no. Spice no, no. things up. No. I be with the freaky shit, but no, you no, trying no, to no, eat no, my no, ass, no. that's where I crossed the line. I ate ass before, but I do so not to the, get my ass ate. What so about the pegging? Don't. So it's never happened. No. no. For me. You might get kicked. I'm just saying. No, it's, it's all right. For me, it's happened, but let's let's just, just clarify that. That was that was with someone that I was in a relationship with for a very long time. So you know you gotta spice shit up. I ain't getting my ass ate by different females, random females out here. Let's let's just clarify that. <laughs> But you feel me? Um, I mean, it ain't nothing much to it. But the whole pegging shit, nah. That's 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 a definite fuck no out of here. You're getting fucked up. I'm but now, now, sorry to cut you off. Now but that like no. you've already had your ass ate once, let's say you're with somebody for a while. Would you ask for it now? Like now that you know what it feels like. The thing is that I don't ask for it. No matter, it, it's happened multiple times. I I never ask for it. But I'm did be you enjoy you. it? Um. I mean, if I'm going to give you a clear-cut answer, Sheesh. it's not like it hurts, but it's not like it gets me bricked up. It, it's not like something like, oh, damn, like this shit get me bricked <laughs> like up. Like it's there, but whatever. You feel me? But if it you happens... You without it. No, nah, if it happens, it happens. You know, you got to let Shorty do what she got to do. You feel me? But like, if it, like I said it, hey, I mean, it don't hurt. Hey, you heard it here first, guys. It don't hurt, nigga. It don't hurt. You feel me? It's just a little something, a little whoop-whoop, not shit, nigga. <laughs> A little vet, vet, you feel me? A little whoop-whoop, not shit, nigga. I don't know about that one. That's, that's all you need. Hit up Raymond hey, if you like to eat ass. Hit up Raymond. All right. <laughs> I'm just. Oh, that's only that's only wifey shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. I ain't get, I ain't doing it with the randoms. But <laughs> next question, please. Next I, I question. That. <laughs> all right. Um, are you guys okay with threesomes? <laughs> what kind? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Threesomes with two girls. One is guy, it two, two guys? guys one two girl? girls. With two girls, uh, 100%. I think yeah, I think any man is alright. Most definitely, one hundred percent. The more, the merrier. Okay, for sure. And with two guys, no. no. Why? Nah. Why? I it's, wouldn't. I wouldn't even do that with my homeboy. Yeah. Though, like a nigga that I've been close with since like elementary, I wouldn't even do that. I know a group nah. of niggas that they be doing that, and it's just like, <sighs> I don't know. You feel me? I don't know about. They that call one. that the Alf, the That's, Eiffel Tower. I ain't doing ah, that. It's it's, <laughs> it's it's a little dicey. You feel me? Now I gotta see your meeting shit. Like, come on now. But why? it's okay for you to have. Like, why is there that women? double standard? Why is it okay. Yeah. But like, Whoa. we running it by y'all first, though, right? Whoa. You ask me, I'm gonna say no. Off, off, off the rip. So, like off rip. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like you're trying to say like, oh, like if your girl say, okay, we can have a threesome, and she bring another another female. But then you're trying to say, what if she asked for another nigga? Then definitely no. Yeah. It's so why then is I it okay? No, I but then that's I, fair. But if that's but if that's like the case, then, I, then I'll say no. Then, then I'll say no then to the thing. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I'll be like, nah, I don't need that. I know y'all be getting a little saying. drunk and y'all be kissing y'all homegirls. Yeah. <laughs> and I know when the kissing the homegirls go a little long tonight, y'all yeah. be like, yo, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Tongue down your throat. Like, shit, I'm just saying. Whoa, I'm just saying. I've heard from many fuck women. That. I've seen. Fuck that. We've seen I've that seen shit it. a bunch of You've times. You've seen it. All right. A bunch of times. Next question. You know, mm. Have the people at me. All right, next, next question. question. Can you be friends with a girl or is there always an interest there? That's dicey. Um, it depends. Because a lot of times, let's say, I think we all do have a few friends that are, you know, groups of females or whatnot. So let's say it's five of them. <laughs> a lot of times. Right, 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 right. Okay. A lot of times y'all start off as friends, whatever, but. Back of your mind, you're like, damn, like she look good. This, that, and the third, or a few of them look good. Like if something, one thing leads to another, then you know we could end up doing something or being somewhere. So I mean, it just depends on the person. That's what I think. I don't know where there was an answer there, but yeah, <laughs> damn, like go that. ahead, go off. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and give my answer. I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and simple. Um, can you be friends with a female? Definitely. Um, but I feel like every friendship, it definitely starts off with an attraction. Like, of course, like I, 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 I could definitely vouch for that. Um, I do have some homegirls, which are very few, very, very few that I have never crossed the, crossed the line with, never had no, like, we've never disrespected each other like that. But when it started off, there was definitely attraction. Like, I definitely thought like, damn, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fuck. You Hold feel on. what I'm saying? But not all of them. No, no, not all no. of them. But... At the end of the day, once that once it's determined that like that ain't gonna happen, and y'all find out, oh wait, she actually a cool motherfucker, like she cool as fuck, then y'all could be friends. But I feel like what niggas need to understand nowadays is that not every female that you come across, you gotta smash. You feel me? Like 
Sometimes you could keep the pretty girls as a, as a friend, and she gonna put you on to her homegirls. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta play the game, so you gotta play it right. So you could definitely be friends with a female, a hundred percent. I got about like maybe two or three homegirls that solid. Like I ain't never crossed nothing with them, right. and you know they they help me out. So I feel like, hey, take a tip. Not every female you come across, you gotta fuck. So just go ahead and be right. a friend. Right. But, <laughs> but like, if you see it as, like, how you said, I get it, 100%. But then, like, same goes for you guys being like, oh, why you got so many guy friends? You know what I mean? Like, you guys turn it back on us, and it's like, oh, you're, you're friends with too many guys. And it's like, you're telling me all your girlfriends started off as, like, an attraction. So you're probably going to think the same way as a, as a female. But the thing is, that's different with niggas. Because... It depends on the nigga because niggas don't have no self-control at the end of the day. Because niggas in Miami, it's all about lust. They're going to fuck with a female if she look good. They don't give a fuck if, if she stank as fuck, if she, if she a bitchy-ass attitude or whatever. They're going to fuck with her if she look good and she got a fat ass. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas are always waiting for the opportunity. No matter how many years you've been friends, I swear on God, if you hit them up and tell them what's up, they're going to be right there at the door in two right. seconds. That's a fact. That's just how niggas move. But not majority of niggas. I'm going to say about eight yeah, times out of like, ten. Yeah. Yeah, There's some niggas like me or, or like oh, Kenny, like, you feel what I'm like saying? Like me. I'll yeah. just say niggas that got self-control, niggas that could be like, all right, bet, you feel me? Like, I don't got to fuck every female that I right. come across. I could keep this as a friend and fuck other people. You don't got to fuck every, every female that you come across. Exactly. Like, that's all I got to say. Mm. You feel what I mean? There's a, lot, there's a lot of females out here. Even though Miami's small, there's definitely a lot of females out here. That's all I got to say. Are you that nigga that controls what she wears or oh you Fuck can't no. Post? No, 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 hold up. Or you I was can't just about to get into that. Go ahead. Bitches. You know, I'll let you speak on that. Go ahead, go look, ahead. I like my women to look good. I see you out in the street, baby girl. If you look sexy and when you with me, like I want you to look just like that. Ain't no reason why you gotta stop looking like right. that. That's how I saw you. That's how I pulled up on you. That's how you pulled up on me. Baby girl, you look good. 100%. I want you to look good all day, every day in the gym. Out when we going to eat, when we at dinner, when we out to the movies, whatever you feel like wearing, wear that shit. That's what I've you never understood. Me. Yeah, like guys so, will pull a body and then get insecure after. It's like for what? Like you know she bad. I you know. Feel, I feel like if you can't be with a bad bitch, don't date a bad bitch because Thanks. a bad bitch is you know. They want to show off what they got. What are, when are of they going to do when they're forty and got stretch marks? Exactly. No, I'm going to show it off now. And if your nigga can't. Handle it. <laughs> you can't handle then it. Bye. And the nigga knows what he's signing up for at the end of the day. So like, come on now. You only doing that. You only playing yourself. Now you want to put it in a box. Now you want to be like, no, you can't do that. No, you can't. This is not your dog, my nigga. I'm sorry, yeah. but it is. There you go. Is. You're only so, making you. it worse for yourself at the end of the day because exactly. you're just pushing her away. She's gonna be like, yo, why are you limiting me? Yeah. Exactly. If anything, you should be part of your girl. That like, that's my bitch. You know what I mean? I'm gonna hype you up all day, every day, twenty four seven. At least that's me. What you gotta I don't say? Know about Ray? you, but hey. I mean, everything that Kenny said, a majority of it, I definitely agree with. Except? But, no, nah, no, nah, ain't no except. Ain't no except. Just like, short and simple. If if you met her like that, you're going to have to live with her like that. You feel what I'm saying? You can't, if you met a, if you met a bad bitch with, you know, with some, with a nice ass dress, open back, you know, thighs all out type shit, nigga, if you met her like that, nigga, you got to live with her like that. You feel me? You can't be over here talking about, oh, you can't wear that shit. Nah, nigga, like. That's how it is type shit. That's all I got to say. But everything he said was to the T. If you met her like that, you got to live with her like that. That's all you got to do. Yeah, if not, just don't go for her. Exactly. You feel me? <laughs> all right, what's something that is a big no for you guys? Something that's a turn off that you will drop a girl off the back for? If I ask you a simple question and you look good and you think that I'm just asking you that to get to you, it's not that deep. I'm just asking you a question. Mm -hmm. I mean... A lot of these Miami niggas fuck it up for everybody else, but maybe I'm just asking you a question. Maybe I just want to answer. Maybe like, oh, I'm, I'm complimenting you and it's not on no wild out shit, but you know, oh, you know, you're pretty, whatever, but so, some simple, some whatever. And like, like bring more to the table than just your, your, your face. looks. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. Come on now. You what, feel me? We, we going to do this relationship just based off your looks. Come on now. Yeah. No, no, no. A lot of these females out here, they shallow. What, what y'all bring to the table except that? You feel me? I mean, exactly. It's what it is. And that shit sucks It's whack 100% I agree <laughs> Anyway <laughs> Moving on I I don't know how I'm gonna like Dive deep into this But Why do men make things So complicated Instead of it just being Black and white Like 
Can't relate But I'm gonna <laughs> let my co-host Go ahead Just be black and white Like in the sense of like If you like me I like you Why the fuck You know Like instead of it being Oh whatever And all the other Complicated shit And I mean it for women too You know what I mean But right. I wanna hear Your perspective on it Okay a lot of times It's many different things Maybe he just trying to fuck Maybe he You know Just trying to see If he actually really likes you Maybe he just wants to have a friendship and hang out with you maybe one or two times. It just all depends. Maybe, I don't know. It could be a bunch of different things. Everybody's different. Niggas do know at the end of the day what it is that they're going to do at the beginning, right or wrong. Nah, as far right. as if they're going to pursue something, if they're just trying to smash, um, if they're going to let something linger around for a little bit, it just all depends. You know, I mean, that's basically based off the situation, based off the nigga. So every situation, like, is is a different entity. like it's just different. hundred percent. Like I get you, this, every situation is different. But regardless, I think even in the situation, it should still be black or white. But a lot of times, and I don't know, I've said this because it happened to me. Like you say that, or whatever. Maybe not even on the first time. Up. Exactly. Then it's like, oh, you're too intense or whatever. And not, maybe not even on the first one. On it the depends first day, on how you deliver it, though. Like it depends the, how like you deliver it, though. Regardless, it depends of that, how you deliver it. Regardless of that, though. Nah. It, it's happening Yeah it be happening it just Well for me For me it's never happened It, it depends on your delivery You don't gotta be a dickhead and You gotta be an asshole Like yo I just wanna fuck So what's up You don't gotta say that mm -hmm. shit But you know Just ask her what she want Ask what her wants And her needs are Make her feel comfortable enough To open up to you And be like you know what This is what I really want Out of this type of shit This is where I'm at I'm 23, 24, 25 Whatever age she is And this is what I'm looking for And you know what Just reciprocate Tell her the truth of what you want And give her the option If she wanna fuck with you you gonna keep it going. If she doesn't, then guess what? There's more fish out there. Though. Yeah, keep but for sure. But what I'm trying to also get at is like, women are like I said on both sides. We like, oh, if I like you, you like me, whatever. But then it's like, oh, but I just got out of a relationship, and then you put that into play, and it's like, okay, so we're not together because you dealt with this shit in your past relationship. Past trauma, right? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, if you and like self sabotage too, yeah, it like a lot, you're you're blocking here. your blessings. You know what right. I mean? It's just a conversation I had with a friend and. A lot of the time, like, you know, he actually was telling me the situation where, like, now he's with his girl, whatever, and her girl was, his girl just got out of, like, a long relationship, but they met, they liked each other, like, what are we doing? Like, we both like each right. other, so why not, you know what I'm saying? So just in the sense of, like, black or white, like, why does it always got to be so complicated of past trauma, past this, like, whatever, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it could just be a lot more simple, is all I'm saying. I mean, a lot of times, too, it takes more than just one date, one outing to gauge a person, of course. you know, so like, oh, I gotta hang out with you, maybe in this setting, now let's go check out another setting, see, like, how you are, how you are with my friends, how you are with these type of people in this type of environment, so a lot could go into that, yeah. you feel me, it could be post-trauma, uh, whatever you want to call it, it could be self-sabotage, all of that shit, but that also plays a part in it, because this happened to me. So, I mean, I'm speaking for myself here, but that's how I feel about it. Yeah. All right, next question. Why do men ghost women instead of, like, talking to them and telling them what's really going on? After what? Like, avoiding a conversation instead of saying, hey, like, that's it, whatever. They'll just ghost a woman, and that's it. You a bird. Honestly, on some real shit. Like, if you, as a man, can't speak the fuck up and say what's on your mind and, and like, you got to lie, like, you got to you gotta keep some shit going, like, you a bitch at the end of the day. That's Not just, even lie sometimes. They just disappear. Okay, but <laughs> like, that's just some clear-cut shit. Like, you got to disappear. Dude, at yeah. the end of the day, bro, be, what do you owe? What do you, like, come on, bro. You don't owe her nothing. Like, you don't owe her nothing, like, bro. Just be honest, nigga. Like, yo. Shorty, this is what it is. Boom, 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 boom. Shorty, I don't fuck with you, but you cool peoples. Dale, I'm out. Doses. I'll see you when I see you. It's love. I'll Boom. see you when I see you. Hey, be safe. Have y'all been ghosting? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been ghosting. Yeah. But that's because females ain't shit. But that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> oh, my God. That's because females ain't shit. But that's a whole Why? nother topic. Who hurt you, bro? Ain't nobody hurt me. I, at the end, I ain't hurt. Mm. You seem pretty hurt. Nah, yeah, I ain't hurt. You seem pretty hurt. hurt. You seem nah, like you're you fighting like demons you over there. Just bump to drink. No, 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 I ain't hurt. No, no, no I ain't hurt. It is what it is. Y'all boy playing jungle in the car, right? You know now. what I do? <laughs> no, 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 no. I take my wallet out. I pull that game card. Swipe. Charge it to the game. Swipe. Swipe it straight like that. At the end of the day, females gonna be females. You can't be mad about it. I'm just saying. I ain't. I ain't in the business to hurt no feelings. Exactly, you know I mean? and if I don't want to deal with you, I'm not going to deal with you. I don't want to put up with this bullshit. Oh, why you ain't hitting me up? Why this? Why that? Is that in the third? Hell no, nah, we too grown for that. I ain't going to fuck with you. Off we, the rip. We too grown for that. I ain't got I ain't got time to waste. So That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Niggas is getting closer to 30 than they are to 20. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Next question. Hey, please. I'm just saying. So, 
was actually what you saying that they're closer to 30. So why do you think guys are more afraid to be tied down? Like, why are y'all so scared to be like, you know, you guys are scared of commitment more than like women. Women are more prone to like. You want to talk about this? Automatically be more prone to be in a relationship. Nah, I thought I don't know. I thought I'm not really that. scared of. I know he not. <laughs> you feel me? But <clears throat> it's Why are you so scared. No, look, look. it ain't it ain't about no fear. <laughs> it ain't about no fear. Why are you scared? Listen, you scared. It's scientifically proven Gosh. that women what? mature faster than men. So women in like their early twenties, they're ready to settle down and do all that. But as for men, like. We not like we trying to live our life. We trying to wild out. We trying to have fun. And I personally feel like it. Like in your early twenties, like really, like it ain't no time to have no kid. It ain't no time to like right. really settle down and like be on some long this like, like some long relationships. I just like I said, majority because some people do it, and so I com- I commend it. I commend you for that. Listen, I commend you for that. Listen, I commend you for that. But at the end of the day, like when you see the people, like. For example, when I see people that graduate from my high school that are the same age as me, they already got a kid, working on a second kid, or already with their boyfriend for a long couple of years, I look at it and that shit makes me want to, like, it shit, It makes me want to not really settle down and be in no type of shit. Because, like, I'm like, damn, I'm having fun and y'all got to care about another person. Y'all could put somebody else before you, you feel me? But it's just all about perspective. Like, some niggas are ready to do it, some are not, but it ain't no hurt. Like, Thanks. All right, so... The shaving a girl's like shaving a coochie is that something for you like something that you guys like does it bother you what would you prefer like is a bush okay like how long is okay you got a lot of hair down there that's tough we're gonna get them clippers we're gonna get the razors we're gonna get all that shit asap baby i'm gonna drop a sheik or santa gift give you a little razor right here baby a stocking stuffer <laughs> You ain't gonna tell her. You just gonna like hint. I'm gonna just drop it. I'm gonna be like, you know, you might, you might want to use that. You feel me? But I mean, if she hairy, hairy, then no go. Listen, if I could braid your shit, it's you gotta, gotta cut go. it. What it's fuck? gotta go. If I could twist your shit, it got, if I could curl it up in my finger, it gotta go. Max How about a, the girls that like to but, keep their arms? Oh hell no! Oh, no, nah, that's no, a no. That's no, a no. That's no, a no. I'm sorry. I see that going on. Listen, do a hey, where do your thing. So I can stay away from there because definitely not. Nah, nah. Do your thing. But you're not going to be doing it with me. Yeah. Somebody might like it, but it's not me. I'm sorry. That's my so preference. No. Yeah. no, fuck no. But to the to the original question, it don't really matter. If if she got a little fuzz, got a little peach fuzz, a little pun, it's all right. Nah, if, if it's a lot, a lot going on If she on got there, like, you know, if she lot. shaped it up and she put like. A mohawk? It, no, not even the more. If she put, <laughs> if she shows me like she put an R, like as an initial, I'd be fired. I'd be like, all right, bet. No way. But, 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 no that's more than the three way. all around. You saying that her right. shit got to be like. You know, if you can't you did curl not it, that's too much. That. Okay, but just not a who, bush, who bro. Who shaped the R for her, though? Are you okay with that? I'll R for Raymond? Do that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'll definitely do that. <laughs> now that you caught on? If she tells me that, then I'll do that. Um, yeah. What do you guys think about the about sex on the first date? Like, is that an automatic, like, I'm not going to take her serious? Or does it, does it change your perspective on a female? Yes and no. Explain. Elaborate. Going back to what I said earlier, I mean... A lot of times, niggas know what they want with a girl. Yeah. Like, so, if it's somebody that they've been after, like, for a while, whatever, and they finally get that first date, and they smash on the first date, no, it's not going to change the perspective. But if it's somebody, like, if it's some community box, some community pussy going out there, and y'all smash on the first date, then it's like, all Oof. right, just like everybody else, we smashing on the first date. You feel this me? This nigga said community box. Hey, it is... Hey, it gotta exist. What it is. Community it's dig. Space, if there's community yeah. dig, there's for sure. Egg, yeah. Exactly. Oh, no, definitely. I don't know if this is possible, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Go ahead. Have y'all ever faked an orgasm? And if you have, please demonstrate on how you did. <laughs> <laughs> so you want the stroke and all? Like, what's going on over here? Sheesh. I don't know if that's possible, but go off. <laughs> um, crickets, let me, crickets no, 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 let me say it like this. So that's tough. When you say fake an orgasm, like. How the about whole like, shebang. Okay, are you asking like, have we ever like, do we nut every time that we have sex with women? Nah, I'm not asking. I'm just asking like, like I mean, damn, yeah. baby, this this pussy so good. Like basically, yeah, like, like, like basically, do we nut every time? If your box not good, I ain't telling you it's good. Off rip. Like I'm not. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. It's a little bit more difficult for a guy to fake an orgasm, but I'm saying yeah, like, how, like, like are, are you lying through it? Yeah, are like, you lying while you're it? having it, like sex. Are you like, like you're regretting it while you're doing it? it? You want to start with that? 
I guess you could say maybe something along the lines of boring sex. Definitely. <laughs> I'm not going back. After that, it's done. It's it's quits. I'm not hitting you up. We I know two a.m. Yeah, 3 like have you ever like, like been in it, like in the situation, and you're there, and you're like, "Fuck!" Like I can't wait to leave. Yeah, like it's a waste <laughs> like, of time. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's happened. It definitely happens. You know, feel, you feel me? Like and you're and again, how you were saying, have you ever like fake talked her through it? No, I'm not saying shit. I'm not saying shit. Just quiet. I'm just quiet. Just crickets. Crickets. It's silent. All right, your turn. Um. <clears throat> Damn, this question is a little tough because I feel like a man can't really fake an orgasm unless you really like, whoosh, like spit on her back type That's shit. That's what I'm saying. But how I mentioned, like, did you talk fake talk her through it? <laughs> did you like, were you just there hating your life or were you? I feel like personally, damn, that's tough. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I've lied to a female, you know, type shit. Like, if the pussy ain't good, I'm going to dip. Like, I'm not going to finish out. Like, I'll literally dip in the middle of it. That I but I've never been in the middle. I've never been in that type of situation. But so, if the box is not good and I'm in the middle of it, like, you know, I'll be like, damn, like, I got to go fold some dishes. Like, yo, like, my mom just <laughs> called me type shit. Like, I got to go walk my fish. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to give some type of excuse and just dip out. You got to be honest, bro. Like, at the end of the day, because because there's a lot of women, because I feel like a majority of women think that their box is fire. And no, it's mid-packed. Yeah, yeah, like. I feel like no female sits here and says that their box is mid or average. Every female says that their box is fired. Someone got to be lying. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, the number's not adding up. <laughs> How okay. long should you date someone until you have sex with them? Like, how long is it okay? Like, how long should we wait? Is yeah, how yeah. should you wait? Like, if you want it to be a serious relationship, it's not somebody you're just fucking around with. It's somebody that you actually, like, want to settle down with. I mean, let's be honest. You go to the shoe store, and you're trying to <laughs> shoes before you buy them, right? <laughs> you go buy a shirt, you're like, damn, let me see if this shit fit nice, right? Oh, God. You test drive the whip before you take it out the lot. Right. <laughs> Am These I lying? I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. It's true, it's true. All right, right so right. a lot of times, like, you find yourself like, damn, this person look good, whatever, I might want to be with them. Y'all do what y'all do. That could or could not be a deal breaker, depending on the situation, depending on the person, on both of y'all. So I think that whole how long do you got to wait, that 90-day rule, that 60-day rule, I think that shit is childish. That's out the window. We're not in high school. We're not, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people do that shit in middle school, whatever. We not there no more. Like, we adults. If, we, if it's going to happen, if it's going to happen, you know, if it's not, it's not, whatever. But you got to test drive the whip before you take it out the lot. You feel me? Before you cuff. I want to see how that is. At least, that's how I feel. Okay. Um, to piggyback off of him, to give you a clear-cut answer, if we fucking with each other, like, I'm not talking to nobody else, you're not talking to nobody else, we getting to know each other, we hanging out probably like four or five days out the week, we FaceTiming every night, sometimes we fall asleep on FaceTime type shit, 30 days, max. 30 days, max. Yeah. So instead of your 90 days, it's 30 days. Nah, like, Max. <laughs> Like Max, like after a month, if if I haven't fucked yet, then I'm gonna start questioning if you even really fuck with me. Yeah, because I feel like you know the type of vibe that I give type shit, like it should not take thirty days. Yeah, like I'm not giving this vibe to everybody. Like, I know, not, not, I know, cocky doing, shit. Yeah. I know, cocky shit. But if I'm giving you this type of vibe, I personally feel it shouldn't take like more than thirty days. Right. All right, so you guys are always saying y'all like your females crazy, but how crazy is too crazy? Like when does it become <laughs> a turn off? If you're choking me out in the middle of the club, <laughs> you got to go. That's real fucking specific. Hey, so, who hey, hey, yo. you out? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. If you're breaking a few windows, like, if you're breaking my window at the crib, if you're breaking my window in the whip. This is real you, you specific. Pass, you're, you're hey. Pass. Hey, hey, if it's in private, but if it's in public, like, like doing shit like that, what? come on now. Like, come oh, on. shit. Um... I like my girls to have a little attitude. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Y'all are always talking like I like Shit. them a little crazy. So how much is, you know, at what it's point funny. is it like, fuck, let's say I can't no more. If you ride in me and you choke me, I fuck with that. Acceptable. Acceptable. Um, if, you threaten to, if you threaten to hit me, I fuck with that <laughs> type shit. If you I, I like, play at me, I, I like with it. I like a female that throw a couple items. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because the makeup sex is fire. Retweet. Um... <laughs> 
No, yeah. But no, don't yeah. throw a bottle at the club. Like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, not, not in the club. club though. Not in the club. Not for when we at the house or something. Like, come on. Y'all don't know what if y'all you, want, bro. No, but look, look. <laughs> if you pull up on me, I ain't fucking with that. Don't pull up on me like that. Like, if like like if I'm out with my niggas, don't pull up on me. Because I ain't fucking with that. Just leave just leave the ass open for when I get home. Facts. Type shit. We'll fight him in private. But if you pull up, then I can't do that. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a leave your ass right there. But if you say like, yo, when you get home, I'm going to fuck your ass up. I'm going to be like, okay. <laughs> Damn, baby. Okay. Shit, I right. I can't wait. Shit, okay. Like, I'm going to be ready for it. But don't pull up, though. If you pull up, then so that's, that's a dub. crazy? Like yeah, if you if you pull up, that's a dub. That's I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck with that. If you throw food in the middle of a dinner at my face, I can't fuck with you. It's dangerous. All right, next question: Is watching porn with your girl okay? Yes, yeah, hundred percent. I'll do it. Yeah, I do it. I like to do the tricks that they do in there. <laughs> <laughs> like I like to try that out. You Yo, feel what I'm like saying? Like, like this. Let's see if we can match it real quick. You yeah, like if I'm hitting it from the back, you know how they put the foot on the head. I, I, I'll try that out So what if your girl says No she's not into that Ah and you she, boring But like yeah. Are you staying with her eh. Like a girl that says Like no Like what the fuck Like I've heard people Not me personally But I've heard people say Like girls say that Oh That's like <laughs> cheating I've had girls oh, tell I've heard me that Watching like, porn oh, yes, yes, But no I've heard right. that Like it's I've a guy Watching porn say that. by himself That's like cheating I've heard that I don't think nah, that's what? Like you're crazy That's whack What yeah. if sometimes I want to last long I'm like damn I really want to put it on you I'm going to go beat off first And I'm going to go fuck with you You right. feel what I'm saying That's the thing Hell yeah, that's, that's the, the thing. thing. If a nigga, definitely. If a nigga tell you he don't do that, he lie, he capping his fuck. Yeah. Cause there's been many times where I'll go, you know, squeeze one out real quick and make I sure I last back. long. Yeah. It's a deal breaker. It's not yeah, a deal breaker, like, like, but we definitely gonna argue about that. It's been I'm gonna be what? Like, yeah. I'm gonna be like, yo, what's up, like. Like What's good with you? Like, yeah, I, wrong think, with you, I think that's stupid, but it is dumb. It is stupid as fuck, but and like I said, you learn a lot from porn too. You get a little, you know. Low wheelbarrow action, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know what I'm saying? No, like you've been learning a lot of shit. Oh hell no, not <laughs> I, not I. <laughs> Judy, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Go Somebody to sleep. get her another shot right now, another drink. On the right. Inside. But when is it okay if you've been with your girl? Right, you've been talking, whatever. When is it okay for your girl to like fart around you, or is it like never okay? Like, Don't am I always gonna have to hold fuck? it in? Don't do it around me in public, cause then it's gonna be a problem. Like, how you gonna I'm know knocking you the fuck out. How Obviously, you she's know? not gonna be at the mall just farting. But if she's at home <laughs> and a little peito comes a out, a little peito comes <laughs> out. <laughs> It just like, are you getting mad? Nah, I ain't mad. I'm laughing about that shit. I'm, right? I'm laughing about that shit. Hey, yo. She fart around you? <laughs> Damn, nigga. No, they live what? together. Come on. Yeah. No, I don't fart around him. Like, I'm not just like farting, throwing farts. You're just if, like, hey, yo, if babe. I to, <laughs> if I have a peito, I'll be like, Ryan, I need to fart. And he he likes to listen to it. Oh, you shit. listen to yeah, that shit? That turn you on, don't it, huh? No. Hey. That's why my man, you get a red card for that one. That's, hey, we that's got Brian, the promoter in the building. You know what I'm saying? He promoting, he promoting, he promoting hey, farts man. around here. Hey, wait a minute, that nigga hey, listens to that shit. Promoter like likes those bathos. That nigga listens to that shit. Wow, Not listens, okay, but God, you don't fart. You be like, damn, that's that course. shit sounded like the beat on this song that we just made. Damn. You be like, damn, baby, that's the shit sounds sexy as fuck, man. You guys are so extra. I'm saying, like, okay. if it's one little fart. Is what is okay? it okay? Like, yeah, like, or for you, you're making it seem like they can you know never what? fart in front to of you. To be honest, yeah, that's not fair. Like, you want me to, to be die? honest, I'm capping. I'm capping as fuck right now. I'm, oh. I'm honestly capping. Am I fucking with the lady? I'm, I'm probably gonna smell the shit and short. No, you farting. are, because if yeah. it's if it's there, you're gonna smell it. Ooh. It's not like you know what Baby. I mean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be like, damn, girl, what that Chipotle doing? Oh, whooping your Whoop. stomach, nigga. That's what that shit. Doing. I'm gonna be like, damn, girl, hey, you be fuck with that ass shit. That's crazy. Mm. But I mean, it's not a problem. It's really not a problem. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Wait, but the question was how long until it's comfortable? Yeah, like how, how long, long until it's comfortable? Yeah, like let's say you go on the first day, right? And she fart in the car. I'm knocking yeah, her ass out. Sweet. I'm knocking yeah, her yeah, ass yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not like, lying. I don't know her. You on the ass. first oh, date? That Uber. On the first <laughs> date? What you fart in my whip? Hey, uh, sometimes you Baby, know? you gotta call an Uber yeah. Call a fucking Uber <laughs> if you Nah, not your on pants, the first date, if bro you gotta your pants soon as So, how long would you say Like, you would be like I right, okay, whatever You can laugh about it After I fuck <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you naked You can fart now Like, that what? Makes, that does make it easier No, though. but that, that makes make sense Like, if, like if, if, if I fucked already Then okay But if I haven't fucked And you farting I'm knocking your ass out We can't do that what are you doing? But then guys fart like nothing. Yeah, they just no, fucking hide whoa, you under the covers. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa. Nah, it ain't like that. It ain't like that. Not, not like on the first that, three that's, No, no, that's when you're seven years deep. But not like, you know, on some fucking short term shit. Like, hell no, nah, that takes time. That definitely takes time. You don't want to embarrass yourself. Facts. Do you guys think that you guys can just stay friends with the friends with benefits? Like, just friends. Like, no catching feelings at what given point. So, have we, like, basically, have we ever caught feelings in the friends with benefits? Yeah. You want to start? You go ahead. You go ahead. He don't yeah. even know what to say. No, he, he <laughs> no, I, no, I do know what to say, but, like, again, I mean, it's tough because a lot of these questions, they just depend. Like, a lot of times, friends with benefits, it's just that for one party. For one of the two people, it's just that. The other person, may or one may of the not two catch people, feelings. tend to catch feelings. Mm-hmm. One of the two people going to catch feelings, especially mm-hmm. if it's for a longer period of time. You feel me? If it's happening for a month, two months, maybe not. If it's happening for six months, a year, somebody catching feelings. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So... If it's for an extended period of time, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. If it's for a short period of time, definitely no. You don't think definitely you would catch feelings? No. You, personally. Exactly. Listen, at the end of the day, you know how it is. We keep it on the regular. We keep it real. And we're going to always have to do it like that. So we don't need you to like, subscribe, comment. Go ahead and shoot us a DM if you want to come through on the show. And you know how it is. We're always going to keep the laughs coming on, on the regular. regular. Bullets.